Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what a foreigner could do to possibly get himself deported, and even worse, blacklisted. Stick around. All right guys, so every so often you hear about a foreigner who gets himself deported from the Philippines, usually makes headline news here, or gets himself blacklisted. Those usually don't make the news, but with a deportation usually comes some form of blacklisting. And uh, what I'm gonna do in this video is go over what infractions could possibly get you deported and blacklisting and how long that could be for, and if you were blacklisted, what you could do about it. And we're gonna talk about some of the more common things that foreigners get themselves deported or blacklisted uh, from. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a attorney office summary of deportation list here. So basically, number one is overstaying found by virtue of a complaint or mission order and overstaying foreigner is one with an expired visa. Now, this is probably the most common one. And I know actually offhand, I know lots of foreigners that have come up and told me, oh God, I haven't, I haven't gone to the uh, BI office and extended in six months. Or I knew a guy, uh, he was a vlogger, uh, I think a very small channel, but it, I can't believe he would vlog publicly, overstaying like by five years. And um, he's sitting in a, a holding cell waiting to be deported. And so this is probably the, one of the most common ones. And we'll look at more of the rules on, on this uh, later here, but this is probably, like I said, the most common one. So guys, you've got to put this into your budget when you're living in the Philippines, whether you're gonna do a retirement visa, a tourist visa, whatever. You need to get that all situated. If you're gonna just stay on a tourist visa and just keep extending out, estimate pr approximately about 450 US dollars a year. So you could divide that out by 12 and that's how much monthly you should be budgeting into ex doing visa extensions. Now, if you're gonna get a retirement visa or something like that, then that would be something different. But of course, there's gonna be deposits and some uh, uh, different fees for that as well. Uh, so two is undocumented, one who does not have a valid issued passport, travel document, or with a canceled or expired passport. Now, usually, it, it, you usually can't get past uh, your home country because most places want your passport to have a validity of at least six months left on it before they let you do any international travel, and they would usually catch that before you even go anywhere. So this usually doesn't happen too often. Um, even if you're in the Philippines, I, I know at least with the, uh, the United States and, and most other countries, of course, you can get your passport extended here at the uh, uh, consult or the um, embassy. Fugitive from justice, uh, foreigner's been tagged as a authorized personnel of a foreigner of a foreign embassy or the international police. Um, typically, you don't hear about this too often, but it happens once in a while. Fully serve the sentence in a crime which carries with it the penalty of deportation after service of sentence. So this can happen. And uh, has fully served the sentence of a crime. So, so these are the most common ones. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and take at something else. Now grounds for deportation on this is another attorney's uh, webpage. Violators of Philippines laws, improperly documented, overstaying in the Philippines, like I said, that is the number one untruthful reason for entry to the Philippines. Refusing proper inspection and administrative procedures, convicted criminals, undocumented aliens, a threat to public safety involved in subversus, subversive activities, anarchists, uh, disrespectful symbols of Philippine authority, um, I will flash up on the screen here, but uh, four foreigners just recently, they were frustrated, I guess, uh, because of traffic out in uh, Luzon. And I guess they pulled down a Philippines flag and I don't know what they did to it, but um, they are now being deported and probably blacklisted as well. Uh, acts of drunken disorderly at the port of entry. So usually 
most people are pretty good about that. Now, blacklisting, um, here, here's where we're gonna go into this a little bit. You can actually get uh, a three month blacklisting for the minor uh, things, six months, and after six months, uh, you got the 12 months, and then you even got a five year defrauding creditors, undesirability, engaging in profiteering, hoarding, black marketing. So it starts to get much more serious. Most of these other ones are usually, well, yeah, prostitutes, and canceled visa, undocumented, improperly undocumented, uh, unruly behavior or discourtesy to immigration official. So I always warn people, when you go into the immigration office or you're coming into the Philippines, be polite, be nice, yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am, and uh, listen to what they say. Um, dress appropriately when going into immigration offices. Even though some immigration offices are very relaxed, you'll see foreigners going with t-shirts and shorts and slippers. Um, I always kind of find out how that office is first before I do that. Conviction of a crime for 10 years. And now there was a case where a guy was working illegally on a tourist visa uh, at a bar. I think he was managing a bar in Cebu and he was overstaying and he got into a fight with a food delivery driver. I think it was uh, Grab Food or Food Panda. I think it was Food Panda. This was in Cebu. And uh, I actually did a video on it and I got some live, not live, uh, some, some video footage of the altercation that took place. So if you wanna see that video, it's up above. And um, he had, obviously he had three things. So he was deported, he was blacklisted. I don't know blacklisted for how long, but he had three uh, infractions. So, I mean, it, <laughs> Guys, you, you can't, uh, that's another thing, is I see people who get into fights. Now, you wanna get into a fight with another foreigner, you might be thrown in jail or something or slapped on the wrist for a night or two, uh, depending on how serious it is and what kind of charges are thrown. Uh, but if you get into a fight with a Filipino, then that is a different story. So best thing I could tell people is just walk away, avoid, Filipino bars, don't get into altercations with Filipinos. It's just not worth it. We're guests here um, and we have to avoid these situations because these type of situations can get you landed uh, in jail for a night, a, a week or two weeks, I, I don't know. And they can get you deported and even blacklisted. So the best thing is follow the laws and follow immigration laws don't be late don't overstay overstay is one of the main things now i've i've been a month late before so a lot of people have overstayed by like a month or two months and things happen maybe you got sick you're in the hospital or whatever and typically you just go in and i think it's like a thousand peso a month uh fine but you don't ever want to get it to the point where you're like six months one year two years i mean once you get to that point all these fees start accruing and at that point they can simply deport you and blacklist you um, and a lot of people what happens is maybe they're living kind of check to check even here in the philippines and they maybe they're short one month and then it becomes two months and then all of a sudden you got the late fees added in there and then it becomes three and four and it gets worse and worse and they just dig themselves a hole and that is usually what happens with a lot of foreigners here they are the ones that are kind of living hand you know hand to mouth and if you get to that point then uh, you, you can get yourself in trouble and i know there's a lot of i've met lots of foreigners who tell me oh yeah i got i haven't been i haven't um i haven't been to immigration over a year it's been two years and then like i said there's that one guy who was over five years and he's just sitting in jail i think he's been in jail for like three months waiting to be deported so who knows how long he's going to be sitting there waiting. But uh, don't let these things happen to you. Make sure you budget out for your visa fees. And if you want to get a retirement visa, then make sure you check into it on what the deposit's going to be and all of that. So be prepared. 
uh, be courteous and uh, none of this will, nobody will have to worry about this like I said it's few far and in between but it does make the news every every few months or so you see it in the news so anyway thank you guys uh, if you guys have any questions comments comment down below and if you're gonna be traveling out to the Philippines or moving check out my geo travel essentials on my webpage geointhephilippines.com and if you're looking for a nice Filipina girl check out the dating sites that I highly recommend also in the description. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.